Hi folks, so today's video is day number two using the Juvia's Place the Nubian palette and uh, I'm loving this palette and it's like the second day of like tutorials but it's just these beautiful warm tones. I know there's a lot of warm tones kind of oversaturating the market right now but these ones are exceptionally good and it's kind of slaying my existence if you will. Um, <laughs> I do use those terms sometimes in my personal life. I try not to like let them filter into my YouTube videos but these things are like, yas. I love warm tones, you guys know. It kind of suits my complexion and my coloring really well. Um, and it's just sort of my favorite eyeshadows to wear. So yeah, hopefully you guys like this look. And if you want to know how to do it, then just stay tuned. If you guys were wondering why my hair is up in like all of my videos, it's because this is what I end up dealing with in the morning. <laughs> so I gotta kind of like take all this and just make it manageable because brushing it isn't an option. So if you guys also hear sort of like a dull grinding noise in the background, um, I actually just went to check what the noise was and my neighbor is snow blowing our driveway. So we don't have to shovel our driveway, which is awesome. So <laughs> it's kind of nice. And yes, it's like mid-February and we still have like 25 centimeters of snow. Moving on to the makeup, I wanted to just do like a sharp line here. Use some of the red shades in this palette. I love this palette for that. I think it's beautiful. Um, so the shades that I used today was this one here, which is a little bit darker than this guy. So I used this one in the crease, followed by a little bit of this sort of like rose gold almost shade. Uh, put that on the inner corner, then sort of gradiated the colors outwards, and then used this red, and then used this sort of darker red burgundy, and then used the darkest sort of red burgundy. So all the colors do have a metallic sheen except for the crease color. Alright, so then for brushes I'm using three. I'm using a 217 to go into the crease with the matte shade. I'm using a 239 to apply the color on the lid. However, I do prefer using my fingers with metallics. I just find they work better and I like sort of blending with my fingers. I don't know. I like working with my hands, so that's just me personally. Uh, but you can definitely blend them with a the brush. You just might get a little bit more fallout. And then I did use a bigger brush to go in with the darker shades on the corner. And the reason why I put a little bit more tape is because um, if I'm blending out metallic, they do have a little bit of fallout. And so it just makes it easier when I take the tape off so I don't have to go back in and sort of touch it up. But anyway, so I'm going to go in with the matte shade. I'm going to go into my crease. Very nice and smooth and easy to blend which I love. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean off the brush a little bit on my color switch do that. And that's when I'm just going to take the brush and just blend that shade upwards to diffuse it even further. Um, it works really nice on my skin tone. If you're even a little bit lighter than me, you might want to go in with like a cream matte shade um, just to help blend it out. Alright, so then I'm going to start off with this shade right here. I'm just going to take my 239, pop it off. This is going to go into the inner corner and sort of the first one third of the eye. And then I'm going to use the same brush, just go into this red shade here, which is probably my favorite one from the palette, I think. And this is going to go just on the lid all the way over right to the tape. And one thing you can do is you can continue to go back into the brush to build up pigment. But as I mentioned, I like to just use my finger. I find it works the best. And so I'm just going to Apply that on my finger and just start blending that in. I like to just take my finger and just blend that up into the matte shade. I don't know, I just find that this is the way that I get the best sort of blending. <laughs> it just seems funny that like, you know, you get the best blend when you use your fingers, but that's just always what I found has worked for me. Alright, and then next up I'm going into the darker burgundy shade, and you will get fallout with this, but that's why I put the tape there. I'm just going to dust that off a little bit, and I'm just going to start to work this Kind of going from the tape, bringing it in to help make a darker edge like I did on this side. And just add a little bit more. And then just to add one final little hint of darkness, I'm going in with this dark metallic shade here. Super beautiful shade. I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush, dust it off, and then focus that just right on the outer corner part. And I could just take my finger and use that to just blend it all in. And they're so smooth that they just melt right into the skin. Alright, so then once that's done, I'm just going to peel off that tape. Putting that extra tape there sort of helps like any fallout that might hit sort of the top of the cheek. This is the reason why I decided to do that. And I just like the way that this like sharp line looks. I don't do that often. You guys know I typically will do looks that are more smoked and blended out. Um, but lately I've been loving doing this. I think it just really draws that attention like up towards the eye. It makes a beautiful shape. And I like it. Underneath the eye, I'm going to take the burgundy shade in the corner there. 
just a little bit of that on my brush apply that just underneath blend it in with the rose gold in the corner and then I'm going in with that brown matte shade right here I'm gonna take a little bit on my 217 and I'm just gonna blend that out and that's everything for the eye look so it's super easy but then also nice and pigmented and easy to work with so yeah I've been really loving the eyeshadows in this and I'm really excited to dip into the other palettes from Juvia's Place because those ones have like bright blues and stuff. Oh, Alright, so then to finish up the eye, I'm applying a coat of mascara. If you guys are curious, I use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Um, and then I'm going in with a set of lashes. I wanted something that was a little bit more flirty because I'm not doing any liner. Um, I also don't want to take away from that shape if I put in like a heavy set of eyelashes. So the ones that I'm using today are these ones from House of Lashes. They're called the Temptress Wispy. Um, they just have a really nice sort of like crosshairs on the very end. So it adds length and it's sort of more like a romantic style, I would say. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply those, come back and show you guys how I'm gonna finish up the rest of the face. Okay, so then with the eyelashes on, this is what the final eye looks like. So I just think it's really pretty. This is something that I would wear a lot because I love warm tones, especially with my hair and my eye color. I'm into it. So moving on to the rest of the face, I'm taking NYX Taupe Blush as my contour shade. For blush, I'm taking a little bit of NARS Orgasm, and a sort of peachy pink blush that you might have would work great. So then for highlight, I decided to whip out the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I'm taking the green emerald shade. I just really like this highlight. I think it's awesome. And so I am just going to apply that right on top of my cheekbones. I love the way that it looks with like peachy blushes. Um, I just like the way it looks with that, and I like the way that it looks with this sort of eye makeup as well. Um, so what I did after was I just took a little bit on my finger and apply that right onto my brow bone. Such a fun highlight. And a little bit just right onto the inner corner as well. I'm gonna pair with that like rose gold color that we have on the inner corner. And you guys know rose gold and green is like one of my favorite combinations other than blue and orange. Okay, actually I'm gonna take a little more of that just on my finger. I'm gonna put it on my cupid's ball. And then lips, for some reason, I want to pair it with uh, this specific color. It's just something I thought of. Uh, this is Lime Crime Shade in Shroom. It's kind of just like a light brown shade. So then with the lips, this is the final look, which reminds me so much of fall. It just makes me happy. So it's actually like beautifully sunny outside. And so that's why it's like nice and bright in this room. And I'm just like feeling it, you know, um, even though it's like kind of shitty weather and freezing outside when it's sunny, at least it's like yay something so so far day two i am loving this palette i think it's awesome hopefully you guys are enjoying it leave me any comments down below do you like this look would you wear it um anything you want in this palette tell me about your day i think i'm actually uploading this on valentine's day let me know your valentine's day plans or what you're doing in anything in the comments and uh yeah hopefully you guys like this one and until my next video i will talk to all of you soon bye